Hello everyone, my name is Rick Morris of the Turkey Roost. The Turkey Roost is a place where we uh, mount only wild turkeys. And for almost 20 years, that's all we've done. So we, I imagine we mount more turkeys than anybody in the United States. Um, this video is to show taxidermists mainly uh, when we mount a flying turkey. Instead of having the wings open and they're dried that way, we mount them this way to send to them when the skin's still wet because the shipping is so much cheaper. Um, compared to this one being sent for under hundred dollars, you get one with open wings and everything together it may cost three or four hundred. So this is a savings to the taxidermist. Um, so when you receive this turkey, it'll be in one of our crating boxes and it'll have a black trash bag over it. So the first thing you want to do is screw it to your mounting stand. And as you can tell, this wood has got a hanger on the back of it so you know that's up. All right, and you'll notice that the turkey is pointed up towards the ceiling. The reason we do this is because it's easier to get in our crate boxes. Because our different shippers are higher and they're real critical on how big the box is. So to keep the price lower, this is the way we do it. Um, my son Drake's going to help me do this. Him and I mount all the turkeys in the shop. First thing you want to do is get a hold of this, uh, this turkey body underneath the wings. So depending on which turn it's going, you want to bend it that way. It's got two 316 steel rods in it through the body and then through the back of the back of the woodwork. So don't worry about breaking it, but you got to have both hands. And the reason for sticking your hands underneath the wings and getting a hold of the body, so you don't mess up any feathers as bad as uh, you need to. So grab it just like this. This turkey is going to be a left turn flying. So I'm going to bend it just like that. Okay. Now this head has got a wire in it up to the crown and, and uh, neck foam. So what I'm going to do is grab a hold of this turkey head and you know that it's going to be a left turn flying bird so the snood is going to be on the left. So when I bend this around, the snood is going to be on the left. Okay, this is so you don't get it twisted. Just like this. So you'll notice this turkey has been blow dried uh, and everything else, but when you get it in the mail, you'll probably want to take a blow dryer and blow it. It's all pinned into place and it'll pretty much lay the way we had it. You just got to blow dry it a little more if it's wet, fluff it up, and preen it again. Alright, so we got the neck, our neck bent. I'm going to get a hold of the wings underneath the scapular and I'm going to get a hold of the humerus bone, which is the big bone in the wing. And I'm going to open the wing, keeping the humerus bone closest to the body as possible. Just like this. The humerus bone is laying right here. You want it close to the body so you don't show any gaps um, after it's mounted or see the wall. You're going to open it up just like this and adjust it. Ah, there's one wing. We're going to do, do the same on the next wing. Now, these wings can be opened up more than that, which is correct when they're flying like this. Um, but a lot of times the feathers are rough and we choose not to do that very much because it shows the wall. It doesn't make it look slick. Grab a whole humerus bone underneath here and the hand of the wing and open it up. Just about like that. And in a turkey or about any bird, they have a uh, curve in their wing. So what you want to do is grab a whole humerus bone again and the hand of the wing and give it a curve. Just bend it in. Okay. Alright. That's kind of a close preset. Okay. Rick, will you put the tail on? These tails are made in Bondo and they got wires in them. Some turkey mounts are made so they don't have that. They just wire them in there, and the reason that's no good is because whenever a skin um, soaks up water, even from humidity, the tail feathers won't stay in place and they'll move. So the reason we do this, you don't have to worry about bugs or anything else. You can lay your tail to the side, and whenever you get ready, you can use it. And it also helps us in shipping because we've got something to screw it to. Whenever you're putting this back on, What'll happen is you'll you'll lift that skin up in the back, and where the tails came off, 
you'll see two holes in there from the wire where we had it on before. Just slide it back in those holes. And on the back of that back of this tail, you'll see what we call a tail flap right above the vent. And you'll want to uh, we use that the gap super glue or anything like that'll work. That'll work with wet skin, anything that's wet, and you glue it to the back of the bondo. If you, if you think the turkey's going to be in your house permanent or wherever it's going to be, you can use hot metal glue. Hot metal glue is just a little harder to get off in your wrist. Now's the time you're going to blow dry the blow dry. Blow dry it from this angle so it goes underneath the feathers, but you really don't want to mess it up that bad because most of the, most of the feather work's already done by the time you get it. What you want to watch for is these lines right here. Keep these lines as straight as possible. See how that's sagging? Sometimes they'll come loose a little bit in shipping. And all it takes is a straight pin stuck into the neck foam, and you pull that skin up just like that, stick it. See how that helped the line? And of course you'll want to pin these beards out so you can see them whenever you're done, about like this. Now we're ready to carve the wing. All right, now we got the tail on, we got the wings opened up, and we got the, the head extended. We printed out a little bit. Um, we got it blow dried. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to cardboard the wings until they dry. It'll take oh, 12, 14 days, depending on the humidity. Um, and you'll know whenever you take the carding off because these far feathers won't move any. Um, the reason it takes so long is because there's so many tendons in the wings. Takes them longer to dry up. So the skin, you'll notice the skin dried to the body quicker than you'll notice this. So what I do is, is I try to uh, sandwich this wing with this cardboard like this, and I find me a spot in the middle of the back on the ankle. And I stick a pin right in the body, just like that. You don't want it too tight because what it'll do is mess up your back feathers as it's drying. They'll stay that way. Okay. So. You want your wing to kind of have a natural curve, and the cardio will help you do that. So we're going to use the straight pin to hold that cardio in place. You know, I usually use probably three at the most. You can use as many as you want. So I kind of get these feathers evenly gapped a little bit, and I'll start pushing them from that inside out and get it kind of a curve, and I'll start pinning them just about like this. Move down six inches or so, and I'll stick another one. Just like that. Come down here where the barred feathers start, and I'll stick another one in. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that wing open as much as I want it extended, and a lot of the times it depends on the quality of the wing. If the barred feathers are messed up and they're missing feathers, you can, you can move them in closer to hide some of that. But there's this kind of a fine point there where you don't want the wing closed too much because it doesn't look right. If it's a good wing, you can open it up and they can have gaps in them just like this, like they would be if they was really flying. Uh, but a lot of wings aren't good, so we choose to close them up so you can't see the wall behind it, which, uh, which will make your eyes go right to the spots where the feathers are missing. We don't want that. We want a nice, slick mount. So what I'm gonna do is open up this wing to the point where I like the looks of it. And with this stapler, I'm going to staple it through both pieces of cardboard to the last smallest barred feather. Okay, we're going to use this tape right here to evenly gap our feathers and hold them in place until they dry. So what I usually do is I'll start from the bottom. And if I need to pull pins out as I'm doing this, to get these feathers to lay right, I will. So I'm going to start right here. Moving these feathers in place as I go down. Just about like that. Now you can move some more if you want, but for the purposes of the, of the video, I'm kind of uh, hurrying through it. So I take another piece, and I want to do the barred feathers this time. And I start right in here. And as I move the feathers where I want them, I stick it with tape. I like that. Go all the way to the end. And this tape that we use for auto body use, 
So if you use regular masking tape, what it'll do is it has tendency, the glue is too strong, so it'll have tendency if left on there very long, it'll stick to the feathers. And then as you pull it off, it'll leave residue on the feathers. This stuff right here doesn't. You can leave it on there forever and then take it off. It's still the same. It's not as sticky as the other stuff. So on the other wing, we're going to do the other wing the same way. Um, and just, just set this turkey somewhere on the wall. You can put a fan on it. Blow it from this direction if you want it to dry quicker. Uh, if not, just let it hang there. You don't want to hang it by wood stoves or anywhere that's high heat because what will happen will make these feathers raise. And, uh, but anyway, if you have any more questions, all you got to do is call us here at the Turkey Roost. Um, we're open every day of the week, most of the time on weekends. And uh, yeah, if you have any trouble whatsoever, you just let us know. Okay? Thank you very much.